So Eleanor sent a question into my Facebook page that says, how do you ride with your mind? And really the answer I'm going to say is, well, how do you ride without it? And folks who are trying to ride without it are basically riding on autopilot. They're just letting their body do what we call its default patterns. So they always do what they always did and they always get what they always got. They're riding as a series of habit patterns. They're riding without awareness. Maybe they're looking at the flowers and the trees and the birds and the bees, but they're spaced out somewhere else, letting their body do its own thing. That is not a good way to ride. That means that your patterns are running you rather than you are running the patterns that operate in your body. And in order for you to change patterns within your riding, it takes noticing, it takes awareness. So one of the key things is developing your noticing skills. So the first thing we'll do at the beginning of a first lesson is realign a rider and say to that rider, what is this like compared to usual? And they'll tell us things like, I feel like I'm leaning forward, or I feel like I'm slouching, or I feel like my feet are back, or I feel like something or other. And that starts to get the learning process rolling. Because then we're trying to have her do that feeling as she's in movement, feel how that feeling changes the horse, notice when she gets it and loses it, what effect it has. And then you could say, she's riding with her mind. So she's applying awareness, she's applying brain cells, she's noticing, she's changing patterns, and that is the learning process. Without that, you're stuck, run by the habit patterns you just happen to have picked up along the way. And I think you can do way, way better than that.